Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kandan, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Anjali Amal Mahalingam Engineering College, Kovil Vanni. Uh, this is the video lecture in, in the subject Thermodynamics. I will teach the subject in Tamil. So, for the benefit of the students and with request to the, with reference to the request from the students, I present the subject in bilingual, Tamil and English so for the students to understand better. So, this is chapter number 1, Thermodynamic Properties and Zero Law of Thermodynamics and it is this lecture number 1.1, 1 .1, Introduction to Thermodynamics. The topic, the content of the lecture, Introduction to Thermodynamics, Application of Thermodynamics, Concept of Continuum, Macroscopic and micro, Microscopic Point of View, Units and Dimension. So, what the student will do at the end of the lecture? They will define the thermodynamics, recognize the application of thermodynamics, distinguish between macroscopic and microscopic approach, identify the unit for various quantities. in the screen different devices, just listen. This is a hot cup of coffee, this is a turbine, the gas enters with the temperature P1, leaves with the pressure P2, there is a work generation, it is a compressor, increasing the pressure 160 kilo Pascal to 1 mega Pascal. This is a house with a solar panel, heat, heat exchanger, pump all the devices are there in a house. This is a table fan, this is a car running on the road. This is a cluster of cars on the traffic condition, an aeroplane is flying. This is again a multi-cylinder engine of a car and this is a, a plant, chemical plant and this is again a gas turbine unit, jet engine, refrigerator, the air conditioner, cooler top outer outer unit of the air conditioner and this is a factory. It is a pump, electric cooker, drying of cloth, windmill, iron box and a computer. So, these are all the devices, gas turbine, automobile, compressor, hot cup of coffee, table fan, refrigeration plant, airplane, chimney, pump, all the devices. The common, the common parameter is energy transfer. All devices, all equipment, there is energy transfer. One way or the other, there is energy transfer. So, thermodynamics can be defined as signs of energy transfer and its effect on physical properties of the substance. So, energy transfer, transfer of energy from one form to another form and its effect. So, the first thermodynamics, the sub title, it is from the Greek word thermi, thermi abdinaka heat and dynamics, dynamics naka power. So, in the engineering mechanics, you studied about the static and dynamics, dynamics naka it is power. So, heat power, so thermi, Thermodynamics. First of all, the thermodynamics book in 1849 by Kelvin. The first, the term thermodynamics was first used by the publication by Lord Kelvin in 1849. The first book in thermodynamics again in 1859 by William Rankin, a professor of University Glasgow. So thermodynamics, there are three different types of definitions. First, paranga, thermodynamics can be defined as the signs of energy transfer and its effect on physical property of the substance. Thermodynamics is branch of physical science that deals with relation between heat and other form of energy. So, heat is a main form of energy. Another form of energy such as mechanical, electrical, chemical energy 
and by extension the relationship between all form of energy. So, we are going to study about the relationship between all forms of energy. So, another definition, in our definition, thermodynamics is a branch of physics that deals with heat and temperature and relations between energy, work, radiation and properties of matter. Thermodynamics, there are two types of approaches, one is macroscopic approach, another one is microscopic approach. First microscopic approach. Namakya Tariyo, any substance, illa substance may, it contains molecule. The substance may be in the solid form, may be in this liquid form, may be in the gaseous form. All these substances they have, they consist of large number of molecules. The properties of the substance depends on behavior of the molecules. So, any substance, the behavior of the molecule, but in macroscopic approach is concerned with effect of action of many molecules and these effects can be perceived by human sense. In this approach, behavior of individual molecules are ignored. This approach is called as classical thermodynamics. Or a gas cylinder, gas irkunaka, the properties of the gas we can measure. It is overall or cumulative effect of all molecules, not the individual molecules. The effect of individual molecules are ignored. Over a molecule, they are moving in a random fashion. So, kinetic theory of gases, you have to recall the kinetic theory of gases. So, the molecules are moving at a random fashion, they are colliding with each other, bouncing back with the same velocity, everything is ignored. What is overall effect? That is what the macroscopic approach. classical. So, if you, if you use the macroscopic approach and the thermodynamics pair on the classical thermodynamics. Another approach is microscopic approach. So, micros, the substance consists of many molecules. Each molecule at a given instant has certain position, velocity, energy and these quantities change very frequently due to collisions. If a microscopic approach, we consider the behavior of the individual molecule and the properties are calculated by summing up the behavior of each molecule. In the method, statistical thermodynamics. Number it is only classical thermodynamics. So, the overall effect. So, how the molecules are behaving, that is not required. So, the comparison, macroscopic approach, microscopic approach. So, this macroscopic approach is known as classical thermodynamics. The analysis in microscopic approach requires simple mathematical formula. Few properties required to be describe the system. This approach is simple. Macroscopic approach is simple, but microscopic approach. This approach is known as statistical thermodynamics. The analysis in microscopic approach require advanced statistical and mathematical method. Large number of variables required to describe the system. This approach is complicated. So, number padike the macroscopic approach, classical thermodynamics. Classical thermodynamics la oru mukhyavana concept concept of continuum. You assume water is flowing through a pipeline, it is continuously flowing, that is what called as continuum. The concept of continuum is a kind of idealization of the continuous description of matter where the properties of the matter are considered as continuous function of space variable. In gas, the atoms of the gas are widely spaced, but it is convenient to disregard the atomic nature of the substance and the view it as a continuous and homogeneous matter that is called as continuum. The idealization valid as long as the size of the system is very large relative to the size of the molecule. Normally, or a cylinder cooler gas in Chinaka, the volume of the cylinder is large comparing with the size of the molecule. So, the continuum idealization allows us to treat the properties or point function and varies continuously without any jump or the discontinuity. The concept of continuum is used in the macros macroscopic approach of thermodynamics and not in the microscopic approach. 
so the fluid is con considered as continuous that is what the continuum next we study the unit and dimensions in the subject me vandu unit is very very important so the unit vandu there are two types of the any quant physical quantity can be characterized by the dimension and magnitude assigned to the dimension is called as unit idhula vandu rendu type irukku onnu vandu primary or fundamental dimension secondary or derived dimension so primary dimension vandu mass capital m length capital l time small t and temperature capital t are the primary dimension directly measurable secondary dimension all the other dimensions are derived from the primary dimension so velocity energy volume everything is derived from the primary dimension so length in meter mass in kilogram time in second temperature in kelvin and these are all the derived dimensions area symbol is area a meter square volume meter cube velocity meter second to the power minus 1 or meter per second acceleration meter by second square force newton weight newton density kilogram per meter cube specific weight newton per meter cube pressure newtons per meter square work or energy joules heat transfer watts power watts mass flow rate kilogram per second volume flow rate meter cube per second specific heat joules per kilogram kelvin specific enthalpy joules per kilogram specific entropy joules per kilogram kelvin and specific volume meter cube per kilogram so these are all the derived dimensions ninga vandu unit vandu correct ah nyabam vechukonu so when you solve the problem you have to write unit adjacent to the number so unit eludama number eludakudadu in any engineering subject so ipo inda 10 nimisham padichadala ninga edavadhu name few engineering system where the concept of thermodynamic is applicable ninga erkane paatha device edha or naal device oda pera vandu eludunga notebook la just to take few seconds and write in macroscopic approach the matter is considered as dash and the behavior of the individual molecule is dash idhukku enna answer in macroscopic approach the matter is considered as continuous and the behavior of individual molecules are ignored and write the unit of the following quantity force density specific weight specific heat and pressure so if you are concluding with this answer force is in newton density is in kilogram per meter cube specific weight newton per meter cube specific heat joules per kilogram kelvin pressure pascal or newtons per meter square in the answer ungala correct ah solla mudiyumna ka you have observed the class very well so we stop here so thank you for watching ungude comments on the comments box la podunga ninga you can contact me for any clarification on the subject now marudiyo adutha lecture la we will meet again in next lecture until then bye